Hi there, this is Baron with a let's play of Shadowrun. Well, I I saw I did quite a few runs here, you know. A lot of Matrix runs to uh, get a lot of New Yen and uh, a short, you know, standard runs to get Karma. And I, you know, I did a lot of character development off screen, as you can see now. Uh, Joshua's firearm skill is maxed out. So I probably now would go to pistols. I, I think I need 20 karma points to increase pistols to 13. So it's going to take just one or two uh, another runs to accomplish that. If you see the Winston uh, Mars, the troll, the samurai, well, he has nice attributes. See, body 11, quickness 5, strength 10, charisma 4, well the rest is not so good, but body 11 and strength 10. And as you can see, uh, I gave him his uh, cybernetic um, enhancements and those cybernetic enhancements increase his body to 14, his quickness to 9 and his strength to 14 as well. So well, he's a force to be reckoned with. And I increased his melee combat skill to 8. To uh, increase it to 9 we need 18 karma points, so we still lack 1. And if you take a look at Rihanna, our elven dagger, well, well, that's a glitch actually, see? Now we have Winston Mars, he has a body of 11 and a strength of of 10, so that's a two digit number. And if we change to the next uh, character, the first digit somehow remains, so that's a, a glitch in the game. So she, Rihanna doesn't have a body of 16, she only has a body of 6. And we already maxed out the computer skill on Rihanna. And now we are working on electronics, so she can, you know, open uh, locked doors and stuff like that. She already came with a lot of cyberware equipped. We just gave her another uh, wired reflexes, I think. Or did we? No, we didn't. We should do that. So let's do that. Let's give her another wired reflexes. As you can see, she still has an essence of 2.3 here, which means she can still take one upgrade with wired reflexes. So that is probably here. Yeah, sure thing. And wired reflexes, 30,000. Yeah, we have uh, 75,000 Nuyen. Already spent a lot of Nuyen, though. Thank you. And as you can see now, she has an essence of 0 0.3, which means there's <laughs> not much nature uh, left. And we have a data jack, a smart link, and three wire reflexes. And we gave our troll a lot of cybernetic upgrades. We gave him spurs, that's what you can see in his, on his hand. We gave him four muscle replacements and three times dermal plating. So now he is really a really tough melee fighter. Well, and our shaman is still running around with his pistol. Okay, so now I think now it's time to get our first contact. Do so you remember this Gunderson, uh, John, Mr. Johnson, who told us that he could, you know, actually provide us with some information here? So we're going to do that. I'm looking for some contacts. Contacts, yeah. Okay, so he has a line on a dagger who's pretty hot stuff. For 1000 million, he can give us a number. Uh, we, he can give us her number. So we chug up the credits. He jams your credit stick in the slot and gives it back after the balance has decreased. Now that I've deducted my final three from your credit stick, I'll place her number in your pocket secretary. Name is Wilma Temenhoff. Give her a call and tell her Gunderson sent you. Okay, that's pretty much all we can get from him. Yeah, that's all we can get from him. Talk to you later, chum. Now let's take a good look at that contact. There's a phone booth. With for now you see we have the number of Wilma Temenhoff and we talk to her. You connect to the decker, she keeps the video display turned off. Interface quickly or disconnect. Well, I would like to procure your services. 
Look, I'd rather be ejected into cyberspace, so unless you're gonna make it worth my while, I'm gonna flatline this conversation slot the stick. If you wanna keep this line active, you place your credit stick in the slot. Okay, partner, I suppose you want my expert knowledge of on the Matrix. Or maybe su score some experimental software from your, for your deck? Well, tell us about the Matrix then. Sure, I can tell you some things I'm to make running the Matrix a bit easier. I've done it all except tangle with the corpse. I'm not stupid. Okay, Chama, here it is. Many small companies are conne connected to the Matrix and so they are all open for inspection. Most of them, these companies expand so fast they jam on a new node and stick some low white eyes in to guard it. They're idiots. All you have to do is sleaze or deceive the white eyes and the grey will never know. Do. So always check the end path. Usually you can find a quicker way to the CPU much easier than straight through the, these poorly defeated defended systems. Okay, what else does she know? Okay. Tell us about those experimental programs. I've got some new softs like you've never seen. The first is Rebound. It puts up a shield that deflects incoming attacks back at the ass. It degrades easily, but otherwise it's great. The others degrade. It attacks the node itself. It kind of short circuits the security logic, giving your software a better chance to do its thing. I can sell you level 3 version of either for 5000 or your game. Yeah, we take them. Give us rebound. And give us degrade as well. So, well, that's all we can do with her. We don't even know what she looks like. So let's check out our programs, I say. So what did we get? This is Degrade, a level 3 program, okay. And that is Rebound, we got that, okay. I already upgraded the Technum to the 8th level and Deception to the 8th level as well, which is sort of maximum. And you need a really expensive cyber deck. So, well, I did a lot of Matrix runs to gather up the money and then bought a better deck and did more Matrix runs and bought a better deck and, well, you know, you can figure out how it works. Okay, but I think we're... Okay, that works as well, okay. So, erase from memory, yes. Erase from memory. No more, not enough memory available, okay. So I think degrade is a good thing. And that too. Okay. Now we, well, spent a lot of money here. Last time I showed you how to, you know, make a run, uh, run a matrix when you have a, s a certain, uh, the number of a certain system, but you don't actually need that. If you don't have a passcode, you can always you know, search for a system, but you never know what you might get, so we're trying to check that out. Now we found something, and we enter the system. But we don't know what it's gonna be, so let's see whether we can sneak in here. Yeah, it's always better to sneak into a system than to attack it openly. But sometimes you've got no choice. I found you can never sneak into a CPU. You always have to attack them. Okay, now we are in. Leave node. What do we have? Oh, see, there's the CPU. Okay, let's head directly to the CPU and crack that. See, now if, if I now try to sneak into the CPU, I always get a syntax error. I don't know. Somehow it's not possible. Oh, I found out. You know, with those uh, three different types of attacks, the the lightning bolt is the attack with it, 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 well, it changes the posture. The lightning attack is the offensive posture. That thing here is a neutral posture. And the third attack has a defensive posture. So, it, that actually, there's a difference. The manual tells you that. I just read it. Okay. I don't think that there's a lot. No. Okay, what do we have? I don't know. Let's check out. That node here. Can we sneak in here? Yeah, what do we have? 
security files. Hmm. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Maybe management files or something like that. But it would be nice if they had a red data store. And we enter. System files. Oh, let's use this. It's even green, see? Okay, we are over the 10 minute mark again, so I'm going to take a break here and continue in the next video. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.